Hi, everybody. Pastor Dev here. Thanks for joining me for this Q&A for today. Uh, it's kind of part two of yesterday's when we were looking at different editions of our versions of the Bible, different translations of the Bible. And I said that I would introduce you, if you didn't already know it, to um, a place online where you can find dozens of editions for free. Uh, I'm going to go to screen share now and show you what I mean. Just bear with me for a minute here. All right, here we go. The, um, the place you are looking for is right up here, and it's BibleGateway.com. One word, spelled just the way it sounds, BibleGateway.com. And when you get to BibleGateway.com, you come to this homepage where they have a verse for the day. But what you want to look for up here is enter the passage, the keyword, or the topic you're looking for. And then over here on the right will be your uh, the translation. I have it defaulting to good news. Um, let's, let's say we wanted to check out um, the two versions of um, the Lord's Prayer. Did you know the Lord's Prayer is only in the Bible in two different Gospels that all four don't have it? It's only Matthew and Luke that have the Lord's Prayer in it. And Luke's is shorter. Luke is, uh, and so I'm going to type that in here, Luke chapter 11, verses 2 to 4. And when I hit enter, it's going to take me to that in the Good News version. And here it is. Jesus said to them, when you pray, say this, Father, may your name be, holy name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us day by day the food we need. Forgive us our sins. For we forgive everyone who does us wrong. And do not bring us to hard testing. Hmm, doesn't sound probably like what you were used to. So you see you've got this little um, icon up here. It's like two books open. If you click on that, it's going to give you, see it says add parallel right below it. It will, you can choose another edition to read. So I'm going to click there. And it comes up with New Testament for everyone. That's the last one I was researching. That's why. But let's say we wanted to read the King James Version. We can come right here and click on that downward arrow. And look at all these versions that we have. It's crazy. I'm just going to scroll up through all these different versions. New American Standard. There's the Message. There's the Living Bible. Authorized King James. The King James Version. God's Word translation. We can even go back to 1599 and the Geneva Bible and English Standard Version, uh, Christian I mean, look at, you have your, your pick of the litter, as they say. So I want to come down here to King James just for a minute. KJV, there we go. And here it is. Here's the Good News Version. Here's the King James Version. The King James Version reads, and you can see the verses kind of right next to each other. And he said unto them, when ye pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So the thing that I love about Bible Gateway is that I can choose from all of those editions that you saw. Let me go back to the home page for a minute. I'm going to come back here to where I had only one. And the good news, you can see it; it's a little larger here. So up here in the right, here are the editions. And they have it in Spanish. And they have it in different languages. Let me just click on that a minute. And uh, uh, yes, I mean there there are. I've used some in some non English speaking. Here's an Oxford Jewish Bible. There's uh, the voice. Then you come down here to Espanol. Here are the the lang the editions in Spanish that you could use. There's Suomi. There's Francais. Fran French. There's uh, 
a Korean, there are uh, different Arabic languages here, Hebrew. Uh, it, it's just uh, amazing what they have here that you can uh, can study. So I'm going to come back up. I'm going to choose a different uh, language in English. And let's say, um, well, here's the 21st century King James Version because they've modernized King James Version. Now, you noticed when we were paralleling, we just had to click on it and it went to that version. When there's only one up here, you have to hit this search key over here to load it. Uh, but here it is. Here's the 21st century version of that same King James. And he said unto them, when ye pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in earth, so on earth, as in heaven, so on earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let's say I wanted to compare this 21st century KJV with the original. Well, you know what to do. You come up here to where it says, add a parallel. So I'm going to do that. And it comes up with King James Version. So here I have the 21st century, and here I have the KJV. And we can see, pray our Father which art in heaven, who art in heaven, which art in heaven is the original. Hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth, so in earth. Not much change, is there? Just a, a few prepositions. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, for we also forgive everyone that is. So you can see those two are very similar. If I do something between the King James Version and, let's say, I mean the 21st century King James Version, and let's say the New Revised Standard Version. Come down here and, and until you get to New Revised, and there are different ones, obviously, New Revised Standard Version Anglicized, New Revised Standard Version Anglicized Catholic Edition, New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition, New Revised Standard Version Updated Version Edition. Uh, I'm going to go with that one. Um... And here's how it reads in the NRSV. So he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, may your name be revered as holy. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us and do not bring us to the time of trial. So um, you have these footnotes. Do you see them there? So it says, Father, and if you look at that, it says, other ancient authorities read, Our Father in Heaven. May your kingdom come be. A few ancient authorities read, Your Holy Spirit come upon us and cleanse us. I didn't know that, did you? Other ancient authorities add, Your will be done on earth as in heaven. So you're getting scholarship with it, and you can compare, and you can read. Now, I said yesterday that I have my favorite for certain things. Um, one of those happens to be uh, Romans chapter 12. Romans 12. And because I was comparing things, it still gives it to me in those two. I'm going to get rid of the King James Version, keep the New Revised Standard Version. And I want to compare that with the message. So I'm going to come here. It brings up the 21st century King James. I don't want that. I want the message. I'm going to come down here to the message. And here it is. And there's a big difference. Um, look at verse 3. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. In the message, I'm speaking to you out of deep gratitude for all that God has given me, and especially as I have responsibilities in relation to you, living then as every one of you does in pure grace. You see, there are things added that explain it, but it's all in keeping with the meaning of what Paul wrote. So again, you have to find what's 
what's comfortable for you. You have to find the version that speaks to you. If you don't want to spend the time looking around for a version, I think that probably um, new international version, um, maybe uh, good news still speaks to some of you. That is today's English version, by the way, sometimes called that. Um, new revised standard version. Um, and of course, the message. All of those I would recommend to you to take a look at. But that's a little bit about um, choosing Bibles and the fact that you don't have to buy anything anymore. Everything is online. And I have the Bible Gateway app on my phone. So I can pull it up and it's not as easy to navigate as the laptop or desktop, but um, it, it's still very good. And if you want scripture on the go, there you go. And it's free. What more could you want? Thanks for joining me today for Q&A for today. I'm Pastor Deb Swift with South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. I hope this has been helpful in answering some of your questions about why we have different versions of scripture, different translations of the Bible. And of course, we're only looking at the English translations here. Uh, it's a whole world of the Bible study and reading. If English is not your first language, I encourage you to get uh, uh, an edition of the Bible that is a translation in your native tongue. Don't be bogged down with, with language barriers. Go for the meaning. All right. Hope you have a good day. We'll see you next time. And until then, God bless. Take care and bye for now. <laughs>